I'm feeling kind of sick, which is why my eye is red and my voice may sound kind of weird. Also, I replaced the pop filter that originally came with the NT1 kit with this Rode windscreen. Supposedly, it's good according to Hi-Fi ASMR or Novrat. I haven't listened to it yet. This video will be a test run, I guess. So, anyway, in this video, I decided to review these $10 Samsung earbuds. I think someone recommended them to me in the comments section after my Apple EarPods videos. And honestly, these sound pretty terrible. But it kind of made me think about something. Firstly, I want to show something. Orange is the right channel here, green is the left channel. As you can see, in low frequencies, there's a bit of an imbalance with the right channel being greater in level, um, also some imbalance in higher frequencies as well. So, I mean, $10 earbuds, I guess, that's what you expect or should expect realistically. Um, yeah, and just looking at it, the performance looks pretty bad, especially with this harsh treble peak, but we'll talk a bit more about this. Distortion is low, and the IM is mostly minimum phase, so those aren't worth talking about. But anyway, compensated for diffuse field and compared against the moondrop variations, we can see that the bass is significantly higher on the Samsung earbuds, and the mid bass or lower mids is exaggerated. Like, mid, mid range area is quite good, especially like 800 Hz to 2.5 kHz. It's really flat in this region, even variations has a peak there, which there shouldn't be one. Where this earphone really struggles though is in the treble. We have this sharp 6 kHz peak which really does come across badly in recordings. You can hear harshness and this just general huge spike in energy that's fatiguing and we don't have very good extension after that with clearly audible information missing. But one thing it really made me think about is these are $520, right? And these are $10 and all of the subjective bullshit aside like, you know, quote unquote sound stage, detail, resolution, imaging, things that don't actually exist outside of magnitude response. The value proposition for an IEM that's $520 really is not there considering that. It's just a tiny thing with drivers and I mentioned this in another video but it did kind of make me think about the 80-20 rule where you have to pay so much more for the last bit of quality. I mean in terms of like imaging, sound stage, like detail retrieval, resolution in a literal sense independent of magnitude response these earphones perform identically so i think that is worth mentioning here um i guess i'll give some live impressions with music these only came with one size of ear tips but they do like fit kind of decently if you insert them well let's take a sip of some coke zero all right let's go into okay what song should we play Asymmetry by Real. I mean, you can really hear the harshness in level. Like, yeah, I can hear the harshness and the bloat, but there's no actual resolution difference between these two, which I guess is somewhat interesting to someone who's not really knowledgeable about audio. And maybe, yeah, like I said, that's something to keep in mind about these IEM comparisons you'll see online where people have no idea what the hell they're talking about and just placebo themselves, so. It also doesn't sound like there's a dedicated subwoofer in these earphones, like there is with variations, because there's no distinction between the low bass region and low mids. Spicy by Aespa. So immediately when the song starts, you can hear like these drum attacks, and it's really coming up right where the 6 kHz energy is on this earphone, and it just sounds bad. It's very plasticky sounding. I mean, maybe to the uninitiated, it might come across as high resolution, but it's really fatiguing with this stabbing 6 kHz peak. Let's switch to variations to reset on Mr. by Kara. Immediately, there's a lot more that's clear in the upper treble. We have better extension there, and you don't have any masking from low mids, and there's no harshness from the 6 kHz peak, and I would still rather commit suicide than have to listen to these. Yeah, I mean, just listening to the same thing over again. There's just no upper treble resolution on these. I can't hear the same stuff as clearly as I can on variations. We have just not, I don't know, maybe it's the 6 kHz peak also masking the upper treble, but there are obvious tuning flaws in this earphone. Let's go to Goodbye OK by Tiara. At 7 seconds in, there's a drum hit that extends into high frequencies and the 6 kHz peak just like stabs me. These sound terrible in the high frequencies. It's just so sharp, dude. Like. I mean, just, dude, harsh, lacking in upper trouble information, 
muddy, I guess, but I mean, like, let me just listen to this one more time over variations. Goodbye. Okay. Bye. Tara. No harshness whatsoever at that drum attack. I mean, dude, the crazy thing is, like, <laughs> these do sound way better than the Samsung earphones, but I'm, like, finding it hard to justify because it's 52 times more expensive than these earphones, and I don't know, to someone who's, like, not serious about audio, they definitely would not care about this difference, but, I mean, obviously I do care. Um, interesting, though, is... The Apple earbuds have a lot more mud than these earphones actually, but I'm honestly not sure if these have a 6 kilohertz peak or not because like there's so much mud that maybe it's just getting masked, but really I hear no treble harshness with these earphones while I hear significant treble harshness with these. Um, I'm honestly, I feel like these might be more audibly available in the upper treble than these, but at the same time it's kind of like hard to listen to anything else with these earphones because there's so much mud, but yeah. Anyways, these Samsung earbuds, whatever they're called, I'll put them in the title, are pretty bad, to be honest. So, yeah, that's the end of this review. I'd like to give a shout out to Yuli, Felix, Malbil, Christopher Yu, The Rful Reaper, Tripped, Minolos, Gabby D, Fofo, Zeroskin, Yunos, Ninjacom3, Dimas Bringas, Castle of 4141, Vsauce4, Whittaker, Snivery, Tripped once again, and Base Gamer. Thank you guys a lot for supporting the channel, I really appreciate it. Be sure to join the Apple House and Discord server if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Hopefully, I'm feeling better by next video as well. <laughs>